What's up guys, I hope you're doing good. Today I'm revealing my Bitcoin and crypto portfolio and discussing how I am up by more than 200% even during the recent BDC crash. Before we start, as a standard disclaimer, I'm not a CPA legal or financial advisor. This channel is for entertainment and education purpose only and you should do your own research. So let's get into my portfolio. I started somewhere at the beginning of 2018 when BDC was at all time high, I must say. It was a FOMO buying at 19,000 per BTC. I bought it around 5K of uh, BTC and a few other altcoins and started my crypto fund journey. I kept buying little by little to dollar cost average and by the end of 2018 or Q1 of 2019, my total investment was around $53,000. From 2019 until today, I had learned a lot of lessons, both good and bad. I made profits and losses. I also had FOMO buying and selling at the low like any other newbie as a crypto investor. In 2020, I kept thinking about whether to buy more and hodl but I didn't pull the trigger and end up selling 2.60 BTC at a very little profit. If I had hodl, my BTC portfolio would have been more than 7 BTC alone. Anyways, that was a big lesson learned for me in 2020. I then decided to huddle my positions and let the BTC do his work and adoption. Now you can see in Q1 2021, I am up more than 200% on my crypto portfolio. In fact, I was up more than 500% when BTC was trading at 64,000 per BTC. My thesis of investing in BTC was to have a financial freedom and become independent financially. I aimed to have one BTC per family member and plan to huddle until BTC reaches 100k per BTC or more. I also wanted to have something invested in that can grow decentralized digital censorship resistance, a technology of the future, a hedge to the inflation, diversification and all good reasons. From this pie chart, you can see I have more than 85% invested in BTC. At the same time, I do have a little bit of Ethereum. Ethereum is at 4%. I do have XRP, it's around 1%. I know I'm very low on XRP and I wanted to increase my position in XRP. At the same time, I have doubled my position in XLM. If I mean, my thesis of doubling into XLM is basically if XRP grows, then you know, I expect XLM to do well as well. On at the same time, I have a little bit of investment in Holo, a uh, hot coin and and Dent and TRX. TRX is just to have some fun. So here is my portfolio. You can see I have nearly four BTC and I have more than 41,000 coins of XLM and I have three Ethereum, I have 4,000 uh, browser, Brave browser coins and I have more than 2,000 coins of XRP. I'm a little bit heavy on Holo since it was very cheap and same for Dent. I have 5,000 of TRX and I have one Nano. I had 100 plus Nanos but uh, due to Binance uh, locking of my account since uh, Binance is not supported in my state in USA. I had to sell my positions of positions in BNB, XLM, ADA and had to convert them into BTC. So here is my overall portfolio. You can see I'm up uh, more than 50% in BTC. I'm more, I'm 1000% up on Ethereum. I am 115% up on Brave Browser. Um, 13% up on XRP and I expect other altcoins to do well as well in the future. My average buying price in BTC is around $8,900 and as I said in the beginning that I had made mistakes in selling the BTC at low so I sold my BTC somewhere like $14,000 um, you know, but still I'm up more than 55% in BTC. You can see I'm up more than $100,000 in BTC alone. At the same time, I want to keep investing in BTC. I want to keep investing in, in good altcoins. I, I'm looking to double my position in XRP. I'm looking to double my position in Ethereum. And I wanted to add some few other altcoins as well. There's a one altcoin that 
I'm highly interested in and that is Cardano and I wanted to have a position in Cardano currently I don't have any position in Cardano you know Cardano is a groundbreaking proof of stake block blockchain network you know being developed on a decentralized application platform and developed by you know very vast variety of uh, uh, developers in on Cardano platform I really like Cardano purpose you know the the platform itself the technology they are bringing you know to the people their research the amount of research they are doing you know in the crypto world the opportunity they are bringing on the table the Cardano provides you know a two great tool sets you know uh, for the innovation they are introducing a uh, leading edge technologies models and methodologies methodologies to help people individuals developers and enterprises to discover new possibilities you know realize the change and enrich their life so all the good things you know cardano is looking to bring to the world the cardano roadmap looks very awesome they're looking into bringing the smart contracts they're looking into scaling they are looking into improving the governance structure in cardano so these are really great things you know you can have in any in in any altcoin if you look the technical charts of cardano you can see cardano had all-time high of 2.2 dollars and 40 cents and since then it has been in a downtrend but since the you know they're looking into bringing the smart contracts they're looking into improving the the scaling you know uh, and i think uh, uh, the volume will grow and uh, they're gonna there's a lot of potential in cardano so guys you know my bdc and altcoin holdings and how my portfolio is doing before i close i want to say invest wisely take risks based on your research since crypto is highly risky invest what you can afford to lose these are my thoughts based on my crypto journey and investments not a financial advice but i will keep buying and accumulating good altcoins and btc on the dips let me know your crypto journey and what altcoin you're looking to buy and thoughts on cardano at the last if you like my content and want to support my channel please consider subscribing and hit the like button for youtube algorithm and i will talk to you in my next video thank you cheers